I've been getting Pizza Hut for, oh God, how many years? I, I was every single Friday, I would post a pineapple pizza Friday picture <laughs> and my agent in Queens, he reached out to them Yeah, and they liked the idea of working with me. I'm the first Twitch streamer that they've done a sponsored stream with. Oh, cool. So we kind of just like, they're like, yeah, we love her. We love that she loves the pineapple pizza. Yeah. And um, yeah, they've done some really cool streams for me where they like, let me give out gift cards yeah. and they've sent me really cool stuff like a jacket <laughs> <clears throat> and yeah, they're nice. They sent me a Pizza Hut gold card, which is yeah. like a credit card for, it's like a gift card with, for pizza, you know? Like Welcome to Tardux, a podcast for content creators to come on, share their stories, experiences, and give some advice. And today I am so excited. I have Sparkles QT, also known as Adriana. Welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. No problem. All right. <laughs> so what we normally do, we start off with three rapid questions, but I'm changing it up today. I asked Corey to <sighs> send over three questions. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> So I, you know, all right, we'll see how they go. Okay. So I can the first, only imagine. Yes. So the first one is, why do you and not Infi wipe Yoshi's butt every day? Oh, why do I and not Infi? Yes. Like, why does Infi not do it? Right. Because Infi does not check. You know, do you know who Infi is? My I, no, I'm assuming it's your, your fiance. My fiance. My fiance, okay. Brandon. So, and Yoshi's your, your dog. My dog, my golden doodle. Okay. So the golden doodles just have really long hair. So I always have to get his butt like shaved and <laughs> it drives Corey nuts. But Impy does not probably do it because he thinks it's weird and gross. Yeah. But like if something's there, I would rather wipe it than it get yeah. on my couch or bed mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so number two, your favorite movie is Human Centipede. Is that oh. true? No. <laughs> okay, all right, because he's asking which part of the centipede would you be and why? The front. <laughs> okay. All right, and now the last one. How much money have you spent on squishmallows? Squishmallows. Oh, oh God. Um, pass. No. Okay, um, all right. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, I don't know. I, I've had, I sold, the, okay, when I get bored of them, I don't like them anymore. I sell yeah. them. So then okay. I make money back. So it's kind of like a... Yeah, when I get bored of them, I sell them, but then I'll buy new ones and I'll sell them again. But I mean, Squishmallows tend to be like 10 to, you know, 20 bucks. Yeah. And if you have 300 of them, yep. you could do the math. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, we thank you, Swearin, for those three questions yeah. for today. <laughs> All right. So where did the name Sparkles QT come from? Um, I used to play World of Warcraft. Mm-hmm. And that was my first like computer game yeah. when I was younger. And I, I kind of just made it up because I don't know if you've ever played World of Warcraft, but there's different um, like, what are they called? There's Guilds? like paladin. OK, yeah. Different classes. Classes. classes yeah. So I would always do a paladin and a blood elf because I just thought she was they look pretty like they're little elves. And yeah. So the cutie part came from the girl looking uh, cute. Okay, yeah. And then the sparkles part is because I used to be a healer. And when they like when they heal, there's like sparkles and glitter animations. And okay. So that's that's how I came up with that. All right, cool. All right. Yep. Other thing I saw is what is the Queen's Gaming Collective? Um, Queen's Gaming Collective is basically well, it's like they're my agency. Okay. It's it's an agency, but gotcha. also it's to like you know, uh, it's for women. We want to promote yep. women in gaming. Oh, cool! That's so awesome. that's what that's what their main. Everybody in my agency is a girl. Yeah. Oh, excellent. But we do have male like the talent, or, like the agents and stuff. Yeah. That help out. They yeah. want to help bring awareness to women in gaming and. Oh, awesome! And boost our confidence. Yeah. So oh, good. Yeah. I, so I come from the Escape from Tarkov community, the hardcore 
you know, first person shooter. And mm -hmm. there's a um, one of the streamers over there, Nixia. She's a fantastic streamer. She had she created a group called the Chatettes, which is all you know any of the Tarkov ladies that come into the community. They can join uh -huh. the Discord, and they all have sort of a their own Discord that they can share. Vet, you know, just you know, uh, vent and you know, pass along if there's any creepers and whatnot and that pop right. up. So it's yeah, so oh, that's cool. Yes. So yeah, that's what they do, and then they like, well, if you want like their actual, it says it's a uh, diverse and best in class team of executives, advisors, allies, and strategic partners across gaming, sports, entertainment, consumer products, innovation, and tech. Excellent. Cool. Yep. All right. So now we're a year away from the big day of, you know, the wedding day. Are you excited? Yeah. Nervous setting in yet? Um, I'm not nervous yet. Yeah. I, I don't know a count exact of how many people are going to be watching me. <laughs> oh, no. I way. feel like if it's not a lot of people, like we've, we're going to be sending out over a hundred invites. Yeah. But that, I don't know how many are actually going to come to the Bahamas. Oh, wow. It's a, oh, that's, that's fantastic. Destiny yeah. uh, wedding. Yeah. So that was like, you know, we're going to get married on the beach. And if you want to come, it's like basically a vacation. Yep. So you have to plan ahead and with the COVID stuff. And yep. I'm not sure at that point how the testing will be. Yeah. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Uh, tomorrow I go dress shopping. Yeah. So. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Yeah. So um, who is the future Mr. Sparkles? Where did you meet um, him? What the oh uh, God. How, Yeah. <laughs> um, his name is Brandon, but yeah. he goes by Enfy on Twitch. Okay. Um, I actually met him on Twitch. Oh, very cool. So we met because he came into my chat when I yeah. had I don't even I wasn't even a partner. Um I just started streaming Fortnite and it it was so funny. We just started talking and you know, we talk on Discord every day, and then yeah. eventually, like a month or two later, we were like, "Yeah, we should meet." <laughs> and uh, but the thing was, at the time, it's like, how do you? I was living with my parents. I'm like, yeah. how do I tell them I want some guy on the internet to come stay with us? Oh my god! So we had to make up a lie. <laughs> <laughs> so he told his parents he was going to. A water park with his baseball team in the yeah. Wisconsin Hills. Okay. And my parents thought he was in um my I'm from Ohio. Yeah. Um my parents thought he was coming to work in Ohio <laughs> and he just happened to stay at the hotel like in our city. Yeah. Oh my so god. So he was there for four days and we hung out and like we went to the mall and got Cheesecake Factory. He met my parents. Yeah. And uh so it was kind of like, oh, hey, he wants to meet you and say hello, introduce them. And then yeah. after he left, I was like, I kind of want to go visit him in Illinois now because <laughs> he's from Illinois. Yeah. And my dad was like, what if his parents or what if his whole family are cannibals? I'm like, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, <laughs> like you know, just like saying the worst thing to right, try to get me course. not to go. Yeah. And I don't was I like 20. I don't know no, how old what? was I? 22, 23. <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like dad i'm like 23 like i'm gonna go if i want to go you know yeah. so i went there for the the following month for a weekend and then the next time he came back again so every month we went back and forth yeah for oh a year holy cow. and then eventually um at, it was like a christmas i think he flew out and we drove my jeep back and then i moved into his house oh very cool yeah. <laughs> wow. Now, at what point did you tell the parents, yeah, we really did meet on the internet? Uh, I would say, like, maybe, like, I don't know, three or four months into dating, I was like, oh, yeah, did you know? <laughs> or maybe <laughs> it might have been, like, the first time I went there because his parents came home and I was just there, you know, yeah. like, and they were like, who is, you know, who is this? And, they're like, and I was like, oh, yeah, your son just flew out to Ohio and lied to you. And oh his mom was like, what? You know, like she was so <laughs> mad. <laughs> oh God. She's like, you could have got killed. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yep. <laughs> That's wild. That's a great story. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. All right. So now when did you start playing video games? When did that start? Uh, I think my dad got me started playing video games when I was like six. 
Oh my God. Okay. So I'm an only child yep. and I had no siblings. So my dad was like, we should play. I think we played uh, the first Mario mm -hmm. where you like save the princess and the castle yep. and stuff. I, I don't, what was it? The Nintendo? Is it Nintendo? Yeah, there's probably the Nintendo, whether it's the, the Super Atari? Nintendo. No, nope, it not a, Atari. It's Nintendo. No. Nope. Okay. It's probably the, the first Nintendo. One. Yep. So the NES, would, yes. Yes. So we would play that all the time. And then uh -huh. it just led to an Xbox, yeah. Game Boys, an Xbox 360, an Xbox One, and then a computer. <laughs> uh, okay. So dad's, dad's a gamer. Yes, my dad used to play games all the time. I, he doesn't anymore, really. Yeah. I mean, he'll play Halo. He likes Halo. Yeah. But he he never got into like online stuff. Okay. So now over the years, what is your all time favorite video game? Oh gosh. Um, growing up, when I would come home from school, I would play Gears of War. Okay. Which Gears of War is also made by Epic Games. Yeah. And Epic Games is now Fortnite, which is right. what I play. So I guess that works. So Gears of War and then Fortnite as yeah. well as my favorite. Okay. Now, when did you start playing Fortnite? When did you jump into that? Uh, Chapter one, season three. So four years ago. Oh, wow. Oh, my Lord. Now, what else do you play today? Do you, off stream or on stream? Um, I mean, on stream, I've done some variety where I'll play like when Resident Evil comes out, like I'll play yeah. scary games, Outlast. Um, I know like off stream, I'll play with my friend Elena, Elasian. We'll play uh, just silly games like Dead by Daylight, yeah. Lunch Lady. <laughs> uh, I'll play like I have a Switch, so I'll play like Animal Crossing yeah. or I have Mario Party, Mario Kart. I played everything. Yeah. Oh, cool. <clears throat> oh, congratulations on the big uh, win with the E Fuse Fortnite yeah. competitive uh, women of Irina. That's so Thank awesome. You. Yeah, I was really happy about that. <laughs> yeah. Now, who uh, who else did you play with on that on your team? Um, I played with Maddie Enough, and we found a third. Her name is Melanie. Okay. Oh, it oh, was so, kind of a last second thing. Oh, wow. So you three had not really played together? No. Oh, wow. This was the first time we met her, like two days before. Holy cow. So and you kicked yeah. ass. Yeah, it all worked out. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. That's fantastic. I play with I play with Maddie enough all the time, but yeah. yeah. I was like, well, we're going to look on Twitter, try to find somebody. We looked through everybody. Yeah. And she was most recommended. I think Vanessa recommended her, a mm -hmm. few other people. And I was like, okay, let's try it out. And we tried, I think we played three games off stream. Yeah. And then we, the next day was the tournament. <laughs> Holy cow. So now, how long have you been playing competitive Fortnite? Uh, I think I started competitive Fortnite in chapter two. Yeah. Like arena. Right. I think I jumped into arena in chapter chapter two when uh, the Coliseum appeared. I'm not sure what season that would be, but it was tack lever charge season. OK, I just can't remember the <laughs> I played so long. There's so many seasons. I can't keep track. <laughs> now, what's been the highlight for you from, you know, was this just this last win in the tournament or the, you know, something else that really stands out? That was like, yeah, uh, that was the peak. Uh, getting a Fortnite bundle is okay. really cool. Having yeah. my own bundle in the item shop. I thought that was really cool because I've played this game and put a lot of time into this. Yeah. So being able to work with Epic and put me in the like. Not me, but my bundle, my locker right. bundle in the game is really cool. Um, that I recently also won an American Eagle tournament for zero oh, build. Yeah, nice. So I won that. And then the E-Fuse thing on top of everything. Just, yeah, past couple of months have been crazy. Excellent. Well, congratulations. That's so cool. Thank you. Yeah. So now what... How, um, what keeps you hooked playing Fortnite? What does it, you know, what does it have that just keeps you coming back to it? I feel like it's always refreshing because there's so many updates. Like mm -hmm. every Tuesday, you know, I'm, I always wake up and I'm like, oh, what did they put in? What did they take out? You know, yeah. when they add something new, new uh, POIs, locations, it's always different. Yeah. And I, I feel like whenever they change out guns and things, you're always, mm -hmm. it's a different meta. So it's constantly you're learning how to like replay. So like if they added the charge shotgun back, mm -hmm. it would be different. You would have to have a different play style. So you're yeah. always changing how you play and it's never the same. Oh, OK, I guess that goes to my next question is, you know, how has Epic been able to keep this game fresh? And you just answered that. with yeah. all the Weekly changes. 
Yep. Okay. So now, what was your, you know, when the whole No Bills came out back two or three months ago, what was your take on that? Because I've seen you play, and you just, like, you just... You do magic with your builds. I don't know how you do it so quickly and whatnot. But then to take that piece out, and now you've got, you know, what's your take on that? Um, I was very unhappy at yeah. first because I was forced to play arena instead of, because I it was, what, two or three weeks in pubs that I couldn't play with building? Yeah. And I was like, I don't want to play a zero build. I want to build, you know, because I've played this game for so long, and it's the reason why I like the game. Yeah. Um. So I was unhappy, and then you know people like Corey. He's like, "Give it a chance, man, man, man." You know, whining. And I was like, <laughs> "Whining." No. So I I sat there and I would argue, and I was like, "No, I hate zero build." Um. But then like you know tournaments started like Twitch rivals with friends, and yeah, it, it's pretty fun. I. I've gotten to like it a lot when I play with people in tournaments. Yeah. It's a good time, but I don't think I could play it solo. But I I do like. I was happy for the people that do enjoy it mm -hmm. because there's a lot of people that can't build. They don't yep. want to learn how to build. And I think it brings a lot of new people into the community. Yeah. It, so I, I think it's good for Fortnite yeah. to have a zero yeah. build in a building. I just wish in the beginning they wouldn't have made me play arena. Because <laughs> sometimes I just like want to chill. You know, I don't want right. to sit there and sweat for three weeks. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's interesting because on you know from the Tarkov side, I saw a lot of the content creators from that basically jump over and start playing the no builds because yeah. it was you know it, because there's a certain skill set that's required to play the builds and yes. it takes time and whatnot and you you know you're just a headcracker from whether it's COD or, or Tarkov you're 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 at a disadvantage so having this no builds was it seemed like it, it injected a whole you know old a lot of old people coming back and new people coming in. Right. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people came back because, you know, if you played when the game first started and then you stopped playing, the skill gap is crazy. Yeah. And it's hard to get back into it. So I saw a lot of people that I used to watch come back and play, which is nice. Yeah. Oh, cool. So yep. what what would you like to see them add to the game? Add. Oh. If you had Epic online and they're listening right now, what are some things you would like to see them add to the game? Uh um, I mean, can it be anything? Like anything, yeah. What this is your, you know, this is your pod. You tell me what what you'd like to see get added to Fortnite. Um, I think meta wise, mm -hmm. I would like changes, just because I'm sick of the SMG spraying. Yeah. So it would be nice. Um, for gun changes, also, I would love to go back to a chapter one map. Yeah. Like okay. I, I think. I think the new map is okay, but I think it'd be really cool to go like back in time, like maybe like a past future kind of mm -hmm. season, like go back in time and go back to the old, old chapter one map, but like with new guns or whatever they want to do. Yeah. But it's oh, still be, be cool. really cool. Yeah. yeah that'd be totally. cool. All right, cool. So now do you play, a, you play mo ma mainly with uh, other people or do you roll solo sometimes too? Um, I feel like most of my Fortnite like time playing Fortnite, I've solo. Yeah. Okay. A lot of solo because I feel like solo is the way you get better. Yeah. Um, I do love playing with friends. Like occasionally I will play with friends, like if they want, if they ask me. Yeah. But I've always been like, um, I don't know if it's because like I'm an only child and I've always <laughs> just kind of been used to being by myself. Yeah. But I can just sit there and play solo by myself and just talk to my chat and be yeah. happy. Well, that's 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 the one thing when you're playing solo, you can focus on your chat. I've had other yeah, people come yes. on and and they play games where, you know, if they, they're playing with somebody else, they basically say chat today. I'm playing with X, Y, Z. You're just here yeah. for the ride, essentially. And, you know, yes. but tomorrow I'll be back and it'll be normal. Yes. And some people don't like when they get not talked to. So yeah. it's kind <laughs> of like you got to make people happy, too. And it's easier in a solo. Yeah. I can talk to everybody, but. I think people understand too when you want to play with friends. Yeah. Well, so and, and I, I came, you know, I for swearing was probably the first Fortnite person I came who came onto the pod uh -huh. and exposed me to all of you guys and watching him play with Bonsai or Maddie or Tubby, oh, yeah. it is you guys have so much fun and it, it's mm -hmm. so nice to see. Who do you who's the crew that you normally roll with? Um recently I've been playing a lot with Maddie enough. Yeah. Uh, we play duos. Right now, we're in a crown competition against each other. Oh, okay. 
So uh, we're always, you know, at each other. And we have a good time <laughs> together. Um, so I play with her. I'll play with Corey, Swearin, yeah. Vanessa, Alina, Alexa. Um, I feel like there's so many people I just blank out. I'll play with, I mean, Infi, my fiance, he plays Twitch Rivals with yeah. me. I played recently with Nick Hollywood, which oh, cool. he runs with Maddie as Maddie with an X. There's, there's two I Maddies <laughs> and everybody gets them confused and it's so funny. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. When Swearing told me to go get Maddie on the pod, I was like, what? And I, I which one? Like, yeah, there's Maddie, LOL. And then there's Maddie. So, okay. I think he's talking about Maddie, LOL. So I got her on and, and it was just, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Maddie NF will be like, somebody just added me and thought I was Maddie with an X. And I was like, oh my God. Like everybody just gets so confused. And they're both like blonde and yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Oh. But yeah. And I also play with, um, Summer set, Kayla mm -hmm. as well. Um, me and she, she's definitely someone who uh, gets me to play more competitively because she yeah. is into competitive a lot. So when I play okay. with her, it's like arena, arena, arena. And I'm like, okay, I'll play arena. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So now, yep. okay, you get to pick a Twitch for a Fortnite All Star squad. Past players, current players, you call their name, they're there to roll a four person uh, event with you. Who are the other three people that you're calling out? Um, 100% Valkyrie. Yeah. Because she's my favorite. And she used to play Fortnite. She's the reason why I started streaming. One mm -hmm. of, like, main reason, because I used to watch her play Fortnite all the time. Yeah. So definitely her. Oh boy, this is hard. I, I also, I mean, Ninja. I used to watch Ninja too. He's another reason why I, used, I enjoyed playing Fortnite. So it'd be yeah. cool to play with her and Ninja. And hmm, one more. I don't know who else. Who'd add some entertainment then to that mix? Um, I think it'd be fun to play with Courage or even he would be funny. Yeah. Um, also, you know, someone that's really funny that I used to play with a lot is Action Jackson. I don't yeah. know if you know who he is, no. Paul. OK, he is good friends with Tim, the tap man and Ninja. Yeah. And he is so funny. Oh, cool. He's one of the funniest people ever. So I think <laughs> he would bring a lot of humor into yeah. a squad. Yeah. All right. There you go. He's really cool. Cool. All right. So let's jump over the streaming. What made you decide to go live on Twitch? Um, definitely from watching streamers like Valkyrie. She yeah. was a big inspiration. Uh, I used to watch her all the time and I just thought it looked like really a lot of fun. Like I played video games all my life. I'm like, right. why can't I do this? Yeah. Why, I mean, I don't know why people watch me, but like, it'll be fun, you know, yeah. to try. <laughs> <laughs> now, when did you first go live? How long ago? Um, October 2017. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. And was it, and have you been, for, you know, was it mainly Fortnite right from the get go? No. No, I played Dead by Daylight. Oh, shoot. No way. Right. Like 500 hours, I think I played yeah. Dead by Daylight. And then I switched over to Fortnite. Okay. Now, did you find your, you know, your, your community change when you went from Dead to Fortnite or they just, yes. there was, oh, okay. There was a couple people that definitely stayed, but I've met a lot of new yeah. people. I feel like Dead by Daylight's a very small community, mm -hmm. a smaller game. Um, so I wasn't like really growing much or anything from it was more just fun and Yeah. The game's fun. And then when I switched to Fortnite, I had a big switch of new people coming in. Yeah. Okay. Now when did you get to that point where you, you knew, hey, I can do this for a living or you know, as my career? Um, I was, well, I was close to partner. Yeah. So I was almost at that 75 average. And I was also in my last like semester of college. Yeah. So I was like, I talked to my parents about it and I asked them, I was like, I'm going to quit my job and I am going to try streaming. Yeah. But luckily they were very supportive about it. Yeah. And, you know, because it, it's hard, like, to just quit your job and not use your degree or anything and just sit. Like, luckily, I was able to stay at my parents' house and they yeah. helped support me. But, yeah, then I hit partner and then it just went up from there. Oh, excellent. So now what did you do before you streamed? I forgot to ask you that. What was your background? Um, I worked at a drugstore, kind of like yeah. a Walgreens. Yeah. Um, 
for five years while I was in college going for a biology degree. Okay. And I used to do movie rentals. All right. Cool. And now yeah. you're a no, online stream. personality <laughs> streaming. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That, you know, it's really cool to, to the people who have been successful. They all have had success. They've always had always had people behind them to support them, whether it's a spouse or the parents. And you know, that's it's very important to have that. Right. Even like, um, I would I would go back and forth with uh to Infi Infi's yeah. house, and he was very supportive to let me you know come stay there. Yeah. While he was working and I was trying to stream and he'd let me use his computer as well. Because yeah. I didn't have two computers at one time. I was, you know, I had a computer at my parents' house. And then mm -hmm. when I'd go see him, it was his computer. So yeah. he was giving up his gaming time <laughs> to allow me to play. <laughs> Then that's that is love right there. That's love, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So now, what was your um, partner story? When did you find out you got you made partner? Um, I, I'm pretty sure I got declined once. It was yeah. it was like in February around my birthday because I think my partner is in March. Yeah, I think it's in March. Mm -hmm. So I got declined and then I reapplied. And it was just like at nighttime, I was sitting at my parents and I like looked at my email and it was there for like three hours that I got partnered. I was like, oh, my God, <laughs> like, I don't even think at the time, I don't think you got like a notification on. Yeah. On Twitch, because when I hit partner, you could only have uh, a tier, what a tier one emote, like one or three of them, three of yeah. them. And then a tier two was two emotes and then a tier three was one yeah and then they started adding all of these um, like emote slots you know so it was yeah. different back then <laughs> <laughs> and now speaking of back then you know a lot in your opinion what has changed from a positive side from way back then to today you know being on twitch i mean with them adding extra stuff like that i think it's nice affiliates get emotes more emotes now yeah. they get a lot <laughs> that's nice um adding they didn't have like bit badges i don't yeah. think nothing nothing fancy like that they didn't have animated emotes um i feel like they've added a lot with the moderation settings mm -hmm. yeah uh so that's that's nice um they changed the founder stuff recently yeah just just a lot of updates that have helped i think okay. i mean i i think they still have a lot more to improve but yeah. they're trying what would you like them to add or what do you think needs to be improved if, you know if you had you know, um, some suggestions I, for them i i see a lot of like issues with people getting botted yeah. still uh, i do know they go back and they remove the bots eventually but i know it upsets people you know yeah. just it, the fact of getting like fake followers and you can see it like in your feed that you're getting spammed with bots. Yeah. Um, also, another big thing would be like uh, when someone gets banned in your chat. Yeah. I wish there was a way to not be able to see me. If yeah. I ban if, if I ban you, you shouldn't be able to still watch. Right. So I, I think they should maybe like IP ban. Yeah. That should be a next step because there's people that'll just sign out, you know, that they can right. watch you still. But if, if they could somehow implement IP banning and get yeah. them out completely, like that would be best. Yeah. And that, that brings up, a, you know, I guess we'll start off with the first thing you said, modding. So how did you, you know, find your first mods and your first subs? Do you, do you remember your first sub? Uh, yeah. A friend from uh, my Xbox. Yeah. He was one of my first subs. Uh, and then my one moderator from Dead by Daylight War yeah. is his name. Uh, he still comes around. He's like a 57-month <laughs> wow. resub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he was he was really good at modding yeah. all the time. So, oh, yeah, cool. he doesn't mod anymore. He's just a VIP and a founder. Yeah. But, nice. yeah. So that first time you went live or that first time you had people come into your chat who you didn't know, what, you know, what is that experience like? Like, uh, how do you, do you like, oh my God, how, you know, they're here to see me or what do I, how do I react? How do I talk uh, to them? I think for me, I, I don't know. I've always been very like talkative. Yeah. And I am very easygoing. So, I mean, I'm sure I was like nervous to like yeah. go live and meet new people, but I used to play like Xbox yeah. a lot and I used to do like the vision camera and play games with friends and meet, you know, meet random people I didn't know anyways. Yeah. So I was kind of like used okay. to it. Like 
I- I've always been very open with talking to like whoever, even yeah. if you're a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> Mom and dad, don't ignore that, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now, what have been some of the toughest things being a content creator and streaming live on Twitch, in your opinion? Uh, I mean, you get a lot of hate. Really? You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of comments about being a girl, you know, which yeah. is a big thing like that I love about like queens, like, you know, that's what they're trying to change. Yeah. Um, and being a girl, you know, telling you to go back to the kitchen and cook food, you know, why am I streaming? People, you know, pick on you for how you look, how you sound. Things like that. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you have to mentally just ignore or it's going to get to you. And I always tell people, like, it's so hard if you let that stuff get to you, it's you can't stream because there's literally always somebody every single day, every single day. There's somebody in the chat. Even today. That's like, oh, yeah. You know, years ago, I could see that. But that's still, you know, a big thing. Yes, it's still a big thing. Yes. That is awful. So. Yeah, so I mean, that happens every single day. I yeah. I feel like my moderators try their best to just delete it. I yeah. I mean, I'm typically I don't see it how quick they are. Yeah. But I don't acknowledge it. I don't read it. They just yeah. get banned and hopefully banned off Twitch for good. But Right. Stuff like that sucks. Um you know, I I winning that tournament, I've yeah. had people come in and they're like, "So you're saying that women are better than men?" And oh I'm my like, God. <laughs> like, you just know, like, because you, words and, you know, yeah, oh just because God. it was an all females tournament. Wow. So it is. It, yeah. It's crazy. It the is. Internet is crazy. It absolutely is. It's bad enough just trying to, you know, you're putting yourself out there and, yeah. you know, and then to take into that aspect of things, it's just it's not right. It's 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 sad. right. It is sad. And then I. Uh, some things like I have issues with are I get stream sniped, yeah. you know, like that kind of stuff is frustrating. You have to ignore it because if you right. give them attention, they <clears throat> keep doing it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Ah, that's shitty. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and you know, some people don't realize, you know, it's more than just playing a video game. You know what you do every day. There's, a, you know, like yeah. you said, there's that aspect of it, you know, being a female streamer and having to deal with that crap, the idiots and whatnot. Yeah. But there's also the, another aspect of this to the, that mental aspect of, you know, you're watching your numbers. I've heard people who come on and, and they talk about they can't even take the garbage out because they're afraid that their numbers are going to go down. They, they've got to be on camera. And it's, it's that's, yeah, that's another, I know a lot of people struggle with that. I always tell people that they should hide their viewer account. Yeah. Cause there is like that little button that you can hide it. Yeah. But I know it's definitely something people sit there and stare at, but honestly, I feel like when you don't look at it and you have fun, that's when more people come. Yeah. Well, Cause you that, just put yourself in a bad mood. <laughs> right. Yeah. And that's what people, you know, again, people who have come on, they say, People don't want to watch a streamer who was just negative and not in a good mood. So if you're not if you're yep. not in a good mood, don't even go live because yep, exactly. there's other people that are going to go and watch people who are enjoying themselves. Yep. I mean, I've had mornings like that where I'm like, oh, my God, I, I don't want to stream today. So I'm just yeah. like, it's better, you know, just to not. Yeah. And then come back the next day happier and in a better mood. Yeah, absolutely. So now you've been doing this for a few years. Are there certain days of the week, certain times of the day, or certain periods of the year where your chat is a little wild and crazy? I've had other guys come on and they said, you know what? Friday nights, it's wild. It's like, a you know, it's crazy time. But Sundays, people are chill. It's just like a different. What have you noticed? You know, or is your chat pretty just, you know, regular? I'm going to say, I feel like mine's pretty regular. There yeah. is, I feel like there's weirdos i mean like weirdos are well, not so much like, weirdos but just like your your tone of <laughs> chat is like you know it's friday night things are getting wild not not the weirdo stuff but just the oh, the fun type of you know fun i feel like i like i feel like every day my chat has really good vibes yeah like yeah like today like i feel like chat was popping off i i had a solo 20 bomb today yeah and everybody's just happy and excited and today's what thursday yeah so I, I feel like Sundays, when I stream on Sundays, it's a little more chill because I think people are going to go back to work and they're yeah. just like, eh, it's Sunday kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So now what would you recommend or what would you advise somebody who's starting out going live for the first time? Some things that they should, you know, sort of keep in their mind. Uh, I always tell people that numbers don't come overnight. 
you know because some people some people go out and spend so much money on streaming yeah. equipment and i'm like i used a headset or like a like a mic on my headphones for like yeah. two years like you know like you don't need good equipment like that to just stream and have a good time with your friends yeah because there's a lot of people that will go spend tons of money and then they get very disappointed and then quit yeah so i always tell people don't do that and you know if always have fun you know like don't think of it as the first time you go live that you're going to be a full-time streamer tomorrow mm -hmm. it's a lot of hard work but if you want to work towards that that's awesome you have to be consistent consistency is very important yeah uh posting consistency consistently on like one thing i did that i sh didn't do that i should have done is posted on youtube more yeah youtube is really important TikTok, instagram twitter you know you want to be posting on everything, your clips, using hashtags. Um, yep. You know, don't. Another thing is don't go to someone else's chat and self-promote and be like, oh, hi, it's my first day as a streamer. I'm, I'm live right now because <laughs> people probably won't like that. <laughs> no, I, really? People do that? I mean, yeah, I see people oh go God. live yeah. and come into my chat and be like, hi, I'm live. And I'm like, wow. OK. <laughs> I mean, OK, I guess you get banned or timed out, whatever. Yeah. But they just, oh. that's how they think that they're going to grow is by promoting in someone else's yeah. chat, which that's is not so cool. the way to go to it. No. No. But yeah, I would say like ha the most important thing is have fun with your friends. Yeah. And if anything, you know, maybe, maybe you'll pop off and you'll see a huge, you know, like numbers change. But yeah. when you're just starting, you don't want to worry about numbers. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. So now, and, or you get rated by somebody and that may influx bring a whole bunch of people into your into your stream yes um for me i got raided my first big raid was valkyrie when she oh, was on no twitch way. yeah she raided me so she raided me before i was even full-time yeah and then the day after i quit my job she raided me so my <laughs> first day as a full-time streamer she raided me oh my god and then um i think my other huge raid was dr lupo Oh, wow. That's so cool. Yeah. And recently, uh, I think Ninja rated me twice. Yeah. But yeah, back then it was Dr. Lupo and Valkyrie that helped out a lot. And Alexia Ray yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. So now, you know, when that big raid happens, you're not, are you prepared? All of a sudden your chat goes from X to <laughs> triple X. Well, you know, how do you react to that? Because, you know, no, you... I am not prepared <laughs> when I <laughs> like, especially back then, I got very nervous. Yeah. And, you know, I try to read everybody's comments, like even to this day. Yeah. I feel like, you know, I read everything, but I feel so bad. Like when people come in, I've missed a comment or something yeah. like that. I'm like, I'm so sorry. But <laughs> back then, when you get a huge rate of like 5000 viewers and your yeah. chats are going crazy, I just sit there. I'm like. Hi, I say hi everyone, you know, like and yeah. try my best to read as much as I can. Yeah. Oh <laughs> that's so wild. And now how would you describe your community or your chat or and your stream to somebody who's never watched watched you before? Um, I would say my stream is very positive. We have a good my community is very positive, friendly, very accepting, you know. Mm -hmm. When someone new comes in, they're very welcoming which is nice. Um, I have moderators that are extremely welcoming. They'll say hello to new people, which is yeah. what I like. Uh, I'm not family friendly. I <laughs> I don't curse like that much. I used yeah. to curse more, but I feel like I've toned it down a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so I would never say I'm family friendly, but I like to have fun. And if you enjoy playing Fortnite or any kind of, you know, shooters or any kind of game, it's, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All Good right. time. And now you talked a little bit about creating content for other platforms. How long, like, when did you start creating content for YouTube and TikTok and what else is there? Um, um, Instagram. Instagram, yes. Um. Oh, gosh. I would say TikTok, I definitely started, like, when it became popular. Yeah. Like, I kind of jumped on that as fast nice. as I could. Uh, Instagram, I don't. I, I post like reels and Fortnite clips on there as well. I, yeah. uh, I mean, I would say probably into me being a partner, like a year into being a partner, I started posting more on Instagram. Yeah. And then, um, what is it? YouTube. Uh, I've been trying to be very consistent every single day with shorts. Yeah. But shorts is more of like a recent thing. 
Right. Uh, it's it's a newer thing. Um, you know, I have a couple months for the shorts and YouTube wise, we've been like posting videos maybe the past two and a half years. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Now, looking back over the years, what would you have done differently? Um, I think I said I would definitely have started posting YouTube videos early. Yeah. Like as soon as, you know, I started playing Fortnite, like, you know, anything could have been posted. You could have just been doing like winning games or, you know, right. just to get yourself out there more. Yeah. Um, and same with Instagram. Like I should have been posting every single day on Instagram, whether it's a clip, a photo, yeah. being more active. Uh, yeah, I feel like I like with my community, I've been very active always with them. Mm -hmm. Like in Discord, I'm always in there talking, which I think is really important. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I don't think I would change anything else. I feel like everything I've done so far is pretty good other yeah. than like the social stuff, you know? Yeah. And that's, you know, I've had a couple of people come on and they, you know, same thing. They wish they jumped into YouTube earlier or they wish they hired an editor way back that would have freed up, you know, for them to focus on other things. Yeah. But having that YouTube or go TikTok or whatnot, that lets you be a little bit more discoverable rather than just be... You on know, Twitch. five pages down on Twitch and who's yeah. going to find you. Yep. It's yeah. really helpful. Absolutely. So now what other content creators do you uh, do you, you know, follow and watch or anyone flying under the radar that people should check out? Let me pull up my Twitch. I when I'm on Twitch, like in the morning, I watch Corey swearing. Yeah. I'll, I'll start my day watching him. While I'm like having breakfast, whatever. Yeah. Um, a lot of my friends stream, you know, when I stream. Yeah. So like Maddie enough, Alina, Vanessa's live right now. Um trying to think. Somerset's still live. Uh I really enjoy uh other people that are like under the radar that would be good choices to watch. Yeah. Um Pixie, she's really cool. I met mm -hmm. her in person not too long ago. She's really nice. Uh K Moore's She's really nice, and they're both really good at Fortnite. They were both in the the tournament. Yeah, uh, and definitely Melanie, the the one I the third girl I played with. Yeah, she streams sometimes as well, and she's a really good Fortnite player. So I definitely, I think she, from playing in the tournament, she had a thousand followers on Twitter. Oh, or wow. not Twitter, Twitch. That's so that awesome. was really cool. Yeah. yeah. So those cool. three are definitely. Definitely good streamers. <laughs> yeah, cool. Now you've been around. You've been doing this for a few years. Uh, do you do? Do you go out to the Twitch cons or anything like that? Any of the shows? Um, uh, 2019, I did go to TwitchCon. Yeah, and it was a lot of fun. I stayed in a house with uh, a bunch of my moderators and and people that were in my community. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was really fun. That oh, was cool. where I met Valkyrie in yeah. person. So. Oh, cool. Yeah, TwitchCon's really cool, and I will be going there in October as Oh, well. excellent. Yeah. Cool. All right. Are you looking forward to anything in particular going out there, seeing anybody, catching up with, with um, people again? Yeah, I feel like it's going to be really fun. Uh, I, my house this time, I'm staying with Corey, yeah. Alina, Vanessa. So oh, I'm going to no be meeting way. all new people, and I'm really excited. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Oh. Um, any sponsors you want to shout out? uh sponsors yeah do you have any sponsors um, you want i typically do like sponsored streams yeah. i don't have like any partnerships or anything yeah but definitely um i've been working with pizza hut <laughs> i saw that that is crazy and i saw yeah. okay a controversial thing here i saw pineapple on your pizza oh, are you a fan man, of yes. hawaiian pizza uh, I do just cheese and pineapple, no ham. Okay, all right. <laughs> so just, but people get so upset when they, they see my pizza on, I normally <laughs> get Pizza Hut on Fridays, and I'll yeah. post the picture, and it drives people crazy, but I love it. Like, I love pineapple pizza. I Listen, it's a Canadian staple. I'm from Canada, and that, you know, it is not, you know, fruit on pizza is quite acceptable in Canada. Yeah, you like it? Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's when we yeah. order pizza. I get, you know, pineapple. I get a Hawaiian pizza. Actually, we ate at a local restaurant the other day, and it had uh, some Italian, some other Italian meat on it, along with some jalapenos oh, with the yeah, pineapple. That's, that's what my fiancé does. He does yeah. jalapenos. <laughs> I can't good. do the spicy, but... <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so yeah. So Pizza Hut, that's cool. How did that mm -hmm. happen? 
I've been getting Pizza Hut for, oh God, how many years? I, I was every single Friday, I would post a pineapple pizza Friday picture <laughs> and my agent in Queens, he reached out to them Yeah, and they liked the idea of working with me. I'm the first Twitch streamer that they've done a sponsored stream with. Oh, cool. So we kind of just like, they're like, yeah, we love her. We love that she loves the pineapple pizza. Yeah. And um, yeah, they've done some really cool streams for me where they like, let me give out gift cards yeah. and they've sent me really cool stuff like a jacket <laughs> <clears throat> and yeah, they're nice. They sent me a Pizza Hut gold card, which is yeah. like a credit card for, it's like a gift card with for pizza, you know? Like, <laughs> oh, no way. That's fantastic. <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah. That <laughs> is. Oh. <laughs> so now when you you know, turn off the go live button, you stop streaming. What do you do? What's your, what is your routine afterwards? Um, if it's just like a normal night, yeah. I normally will go chill with my dog, my yeah. Yoshi. Um, I'll take him outside. We'll get dinner. Um, and then normally I just like watch TV or watch Twitch streams and also yeah. get some, I'll get my clips for the next day. Yeah. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. And what are you watching on TV these days? um what do i watch i honestly feel like i've watched every single thing that you could like think of that <laughs> i go on netflix and i'm like what do i watch yeah <laughs> but I, I i love like scary movies um anything scary i was watching i think american horror story that okay, just came yeah. back so i think that comes it's tonight the new one so every thursday i've been watching american horror story um my mom likes to watch it as well so we'll yeah. call on the phone and talk about it <laughs> Um, that's cool but yeah that's basically it for right now yeah and how about when you and your fiat uh infi get together what what are some of the things you guys like to do i mean we both love video games okay yes yeah uh so occasionally like off stream we'll play a video game um we also we'll go to chili's go out yeah. to dinner um what did we oh we go see movies i was like we just saw uh thor and Doctor Strange, you went to the movie theater oh, nice. and did that. So that was nice. Um, but yeah, and then when it's like warmer, we like mini golfing. That's fun <laughs> cool. to do. Yeah. Nice. All right. Who's better in Fortnite? You or him? Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's not bad. He's <laughs> he's definitely better as much as I hate to admit it. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> He's more competitive. He he started competitive Fortnite way earlier than I okay. did. So that's why. That's the only reason. <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. What do you have? Uh, any goals or plans out? You know, I, clearly the wedding is the big one for this. You know, that's coming up. Anything else that you're looking forward to doing? Um, TwitchCon, meeting yeah. people at TwitchCon. I can't wait for that. Um, more streaming stuff. Hopefully, you know, uh, more sponsorships would be cool. Maybe one day joining an org would be awesome. I yeah. would really like one day to be in a tier one org. That's like a, that's a big dream. Yeah. So that'd be right. cool. Something like that. Cool. Well, hey, you survived the podcast. <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't too painful. But before no. I let you go, I got, you got to call out somebody who out of your crew is going to be coming on. The, on a, I should get on the pod next. Maddie enough. <laughs> All right. Maddie enough. There you go. <laughs> uh, well thank you so much for doing this i can't thank you enough you guys all you fortnite people have been fantastic who've come out i love hearing your stories you're so friendly and good luck next year for the big wedding thank you so much for having me it was a lot of fun right. <laughs>